So it's apparent that nothing in this life is easy. Many of us know the difficulty of life and the way in which we kind of get beat up a little bit. I had a friend once tell me that I'm a smart guy and I, I may be intelligent, but I have to realize that not everything has to make sense. Believe me, I've stumbled up against this truth quite a few times with realizing that I can't organize everything. I can't, I can't for all intents and purposes just understand everything that is happening. Not just because I have a limited and subjective experience, but also because the reality that we live in is very strong, or um, well strong, very diverse, very complicated, very difficult to understand and very vast. And all of these things honestly make it difficult. It's like trying to corral the cats, so to speak. The idea of trying to bring order to chaos when things actually thrive better in chaos. The difficulty being that chaos is difficult to understand and to live in. Now whatever you may make about the complexities of the world that we live in, all I can say is that yeah, the, the pain of this complexity, the pain of not being able to understand, the pain of not being able to get it, uh, really makes its mark on me. Not just because I'm an empath and I absorb people's emotions, but because I don't even necessarily see myself as the person that I want to be. I don't see myself as living in the conditions in the society that I wish I could live in. But nonetheless, as Sartre would say, this is our facticity. And so I have to deal with that. Though he would also say that I also have to accept the possibilities as well, which is the flip side. Um, but that's a whole other discussion. The point being, I am living in a certain time and place and I have to acknowledge that I may not understand what that means. Now, I'm thinking about these things because I always think about these things, but I have to admit today was a very difficult day, you know, with thinking about how I don't always understand what my friends are telling me, I don't always agree with them, and how that can be difficult to engage with, and it can be very difficult for those reasons to engage with them. Also understanding the kind of political divide that we're experiencing right now, that's always stressful. Uh, the way in which there's a lot of partisanship and confusion and hostility and anger. Um, the way in which that I, there's a political divide between me and some people that I know. People that I'm even close with and people that are related to me. And that's very, very hard. And I don't know what to do with it. I know that I can't really change their mind, but I hope that someone somewhere can persuade them of much more calm thoughts, calm political perspectives. But I guess if we feel like we have to fight for everything and fight everything, then that won't really matter. But anyway, I won't get into that. My main point though that I wanted to drive home is this idea of understanding and how I'm realizing that there are many things that I can't understand even though I wish that I could. Um, and this is why I turn to philosophy for answers, of course. It's why I turn to science. It's why I turn to literature. Um, it's why I turn to a lot of things, even television and art, to try to understand what the world is and what it all means. And I can acknowledge, as my friend said, that I can be intelligent, but that not everything has to make sense. And this is hard for me to understand because I want it to make sense. And even making this video is an attempt of me trying to make sense of it. But I guess all I can really say is that even though the pain that I feel and that many people around me feel is very real, it doesn't mean that I can't continue to strive and keep trying. And that's what I would say. Just try to come to your own philosophy, try to come to your own understanding. And I can say that to myself, and really in the end, that's all we can do. This is Phoenix, and thank you.